Hey YouTube, it's GV Loan Guy. It's April 8th, and I wanted to share this video with you. Dr. Robert Morse just replied with a video response to an email that I sent to him. And his response is so informative and impressive to me, I wanted to bring it to you and share it with you. So that segment of his response, I'm going to publish on my channel. I asked him the question regarding sugars and fruit versus alkaline and acid and the lymph system and related questions because I was confused by the conflict of cancer loving sugar but we're supposed to eat fruits in order to detox our body and alkalize our body so that confused me he responded to that and he mentioned a couple of other things which really got my attention number one he said he doubted if I could sweat and then the fact is that for the past year and a half, whenever I go to the doctor, they take my temperature. I'm coming in at about 97, in the low 97s, instead of 98.6, where I've always been. The other thing is he mentioned, just from looking at a picture of me, he mentioned that my hair was thinning on the top, which I've been mentioning to Mrs. GV Lone Guy every day for a while now. And he said that that had to do with the clogged lymph system, I believe. Anyway, his answers impressed me so much, I'm going to pay attention to what this guy says, and I wanted to share it with you. So, here you go. I want to get to some of your questions and everything. I know you've been patient with me, and I really thank you for that. I'm, even though there's so much, I'm trying to throw as much out to help everyone with some of these cases, because even though this each case might not be relative to your case, it is relative to your case, because really, if you start to look at the simplicity of this whole thing, you start to realize cells and two fluids, cells and two fluids, and you start to realize two sides of chemistry, acid base. And then you start looking at this and understanding more why you have pain, why you have swelling. Location, location, location. So let's start some of these questions because you guys are asking some very good questions and there's some of you that are suffering pretty bad here that's coming online now. So let's uh, everybody help everybody. I've had incredible feedback on the Facebook sites, guys. You guys are tearing it up. Uh, always give that love and, and healer out. We'll be talking about that at the class. Uh, the, the, the class is the path of the healer. And so... Uh, it will help you to understand everything involved in being a true healer. And, and this really affects the healer themselves. Uh, so let's go uh, look at this. This is a, a G-V-L-O-A-N guy. G-V loan guy. Ooh, musician. Oh, yeah, man. I see. Look, Black Sab update April 1st, 2003. Two, I'm going after a new... I forgot to mention something. I don't know. There must be conversation going on here, my friend. I have stage 4 melanoma, which has recently gotten very aggressive. It's in my lymph system and spreading subcutaneous lymphs all over. Now, first of all, uh, realize, my friend, that this is the lymph system. It didn't get into. It is the lymph system that's causing this. It didn't get into the lymph system. The lymph system is the system of melanomas and lymphomas. They're all the same. You know, this is about acids, and it doesn't matter what cells they break down to give you the type of cancer they're going to call it. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter what location. Because, really, when you have melanoma up here, you've got it all over, it, it, lymphatically speaking, everywhere, in the liver and everything. So we use the word metastasizing when you're talking about cancer, finding it in multiple places. In reality, that is not a, that's not a true word. It is that you're systemically involved. And a lot of you that come here, and a lot of you that's been involved in this, begin to understand that when your sewer system's backed up, it's backed up all through you. You might not feel different places. You might see expressions on the neck or expressions anywhere on the body and not realize you could have multiple tumors in the body, multiple cancer sites already. Just to, because an allopath hasn't pulled a cell and had it stained to tell you you have cancer in different places. You just have to remember that. Don't fear the word cancer. Bad name, bad image, bad concepts. Everything about the word is, is set up for you guys to feel that it's a disease. You can contribute money to this. Get real. Get with what truth is. This is a lymphatic problem. And this poor gentleman here is fighting his lymph system. Look, he's balding up here at the top. If this is him, his hair's like mine. Lymph, 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 lymph. I can speak from that myself. 
Uh, and of course the lymph nodes are, are going to be highly involved because your channel from the cell to the lymph nodes. And when the lymph nodes are backed up, then the cell gets backed up. And that's called, to me, cellular constipation. Cellular constipation is a lot worse than, say, constipation through the bowels because this means cellular constipation of a very acidic level. And uh, that, that's problematic. When you have constipation and you have hydrochloric acid involved, it's generally neutralized by, by carbonate. If it isn't, you're going to burn. Uh, and burn, baby, burn. And that's what's going on here. Uh, subcutaneous lumps all over my chest abdomen. That shows you that you're very systemically involved, my friend. Get your adrenals and kidneys moving yesterday. I see that you're using some black salve to pull them, but let me say that you open up a port here somewhere and that body will keep it open on you. Uh, you can do the pulling, but you want to get that, that kidney channel opened up aggressively. Go after that kidney and adrenal glands and get on some lymph formulas and aggressively get into this. Along with the ones on my face, see video. I need your help in understanding a contradiction in my understanding. As a cancer patient, I'm told to avoid sugar since cancer loves sugar. Well, I'll say this, and I'll be this bold. Uh, I don't know what to call you. GV? Listen, GV, if you want to live, you forget what you think you know about allopathy and get on detoxifying the body if you want to live. Because right now, with the cancer all through you, I'll be straight with you. There's nothing they can do. You know that already. I'm sure they told you that. And there's nothing they can do. There's nothing they can do in the first place. And to do chemo or anything on top of this is just going to end, you make you have an early life uh, 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 in another area. Uh, so you really want to get with understanding your lymph system. Uh, our twist on it, of course, is adrenals and kidneys. Their twist, they don't have a twist. And that's the problem. So you don't want to treat this as a disease or you'll not make it. You, you want to you wanna focus on it, the reality of this. The reality of the site of chemistry, the reality of what system you're dealing with, and the reality of how the kidneys and adrenals control that system. All the path hasn't got there yet. They're still back. They're still back 50 years or more. We're always progressive. We've always known that. Well, in the last 30 years anyway. So uh, forget the sugar. Remember, and I went over this over and over again. You see it uh, on the videos here, and you'll see it on my website. So I don't want to, to, to keep laundering that sort of thing. But you got to get away from that concept about sugar. Because we use word sugar like we use protein. We throw these words out, fat, sugars, proteins, but they're, they're, that's not a definable substance. That, that's like a, 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 a word that's collective and, and doesn't, mean, uh, doesn't give you an understanding of sugars or proteins as far as that matter. Matter of fact, if you want, it, I'll tell you this, if you were facing a sugar consumption or protein consumption as, as a cancer patient, if you go protein, you're done. If you go sugar, at least you'll live a lot longer. Now, let's break that down to amino acids and, and simple sugars. Simple sugars is required by every cell. You cannot starve a cancer cell uh, because that cell likes sugar. All cells like sugar. But you can't starve a cancer cell for sugar without starving the rest of your cells. You've got to get with this. Because at this point where, where, where you have lymph backed up all through you, what you're going to see is cells all through you and atypical. Right now, you have, probably have a lot of atypical cells, cells that are converting to cancer cells as they're being mutated by their own acid waste intracellular, intracellular acidosis. And this is, until then, it's, it's simply inflammation on the outside of a cell. We call that inflammation. Acidosis is a far better word in understanding the reality of what's going on with you. So you're really in a race to open that up. Subcutaneously, if you're backed up that much, that tells me you probably have a thyroid weakness as well, and you're not able to sweat. I would get myself a sweating, open all the doors, open the kidneys, open the bowels, open the skin, and really get that lymph moving at all costs, because you're highly involved all through you, lymphatically speaking, and probably, no one probably helped you for years, my friend. So don't be... Uh, conflicted because if you waste too much time in confliction at this point, uh, you're really involved and you want to get your life back here as fast as you can. However, I think the sugar is on the acid side of things. Not really. Is there why cancer loves to consume sugar? No, not at all. Sugar is not on the acid side. Sugar is carbon. 
Carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen make up the predominance of fats and sugars. Where your proteins have more nitrogen involved, that's more the acid side of chemistry, not the base side. <laughs> proteins are definitely not on the uh, base side of chemistry. They're on the acid side of chemistry. And meat protein is necrotic protein, is, is, is sewage in itself. And when you eat a piece of meat, you're actually eating part sewage. So, you know, there's urine in meat, there's all kinds. This is the waste product. So, you know, you're eating blood that's been cooked and stagnant and, and, and putrefaction. I mean, you can go on and on and on. And if you think that's healthy, you know, American Cancer Society, let me show you this. I've showed this before many times, but this is for you, GV. American Cancer Society, 1986. You see, that's all sugar. That's all sugar. Fruits, vegetables, all sugar. Wait a minute, that's the American Cancer Society. Now, what they recommend is high protein and high fat. Quick, quick way to lose your life. Quick way to lose your life because that's what most people have been eating when they're diagnosed with cancer. That's the diet they've been eating. So, you, you want to turn this around and uh, get yourself, uh, get on these videos, my friend, and get yourself learned and get your, get your life back because you're in trouble here and you want to get that. I'm trying to alkalize my body to create a bad environment for cancer to live in. So, I do. Well, you realize here it's not a disease. It's living on its own. It's not a living, breathing entity that's inside of you that's attacking you. If you that's what medical doctors want you to think. And you've got to get away from that kind of thinking because that's not how it is at all. We've got acids, we've got chemistry, we've got physics that rule creation. This level of creation just happens to be a little more chemical than all the other realms out there. When you leave this physical world, you'll start to experience more magnetics, more energetics, more frequencies, more less chemistry. This is the most mundane world we know of that's made of finite chemistry. And it's a tough world to be in. And you have to use chemistry to fight chemistry. This isn't an entity with its own consciousness. Disease isn't an entity with its own consciousness. And as soon as we learn that, we'll, we'll take a heavy burden off of ourselves and we'll free ourselves from the addiction of allopathic medicine, which is doing nothing but killing most people. And I had a medical doctor in, great soul, great spiritual soul from Canada, moving down here. And he came up the other day and he said, I just want to thank you. He said, I've been, my patients are getting cured. Finally, they're getting cured. He said, I'm in with seven or nine other physicians. And he said, I sit down and talk with them. He said, but they don't always listen. They're narrow-minded. And that's the problem. Whether you're, and this is also true of nature paths. All of us get rid of our narrow-mindedness. Get rid of our belief systems. Forget about what you believe in. Seek truth. Seek what's going on. Because if you're treating your patients and they're not getting better and you're just controlling their symptoms, you're not a good doctor. The whole world needs cured. They need a remedy. Just like our federal judicial system, they're trying to remove all remedy for the private sector. So you don't, in this country, have remedy anymore. And they've done that in a lot of countries, removing the remedy of the private citizen. Yet the government wouldn't be there without the private citizen. Because no matter what country you're in, it's we the people, always. So, you know, hard lessons spiritually coming, that's for sure there. Uh, so I do green uh, powders in my pea protein pack. I'll tell you, man, the more protein stuff you do, you're going to see this go get more aggressive, more aggressive, and more aggressive, man. Got to change the way you think. Detox, detox, detox. This is a fluid problem right now that has created the cell problem. Get rid of the fluid problem and the cell problem will go away. That's simple. I've heard you say to alkalize my body, I should eat fruit, berries, and melons, which I love and crave, but try to limit because of the sugar. Uh, 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 uh. Change your mind, man. Change your mind. That's all I can tell you. Or, uh, you know, get yourself ready. So, you've just got to get in there and work on that and get that limb system moving. Uh, problem is proteins and fats. Proteins and fats. That's always been the problem. Same thing for the guy here with the uh, melanoma. Proteins and fats is the problem, not the remedy. They make you think it's a remedy. Well, what it does is dig your hole deeper. Makes good money for them, though. It's like the, it's like the guy here with melanoma. If you ride with typical thinking, your, your chances of passing are high, especially with this much cancer in you. Let's be real. Uh, if you follow traditional thinking, look at the stats. Look at the stats. And so if you think that thinking is appropriate, then look at the stats. And let me tell you, the stats reflect 
not much higher than 6% cure rate or, uh, re, uh, what do you call that, in remission rate for five years. You don't want to be in remission rate because that means you're just waiting for the five years to go and then you go down to 2%. I mean, that kind of thinking is just insanity to me. You really want to get into your body and get this fluid moving, my friend, or you're, you just can't stop what's going to happen to you. And going to proteins and, and fat ways ain't going to get it. you got a fluid. you got to start filtering through your kidneys, and that's what it's all about. And your adrenals control that. And to some extent, probably the pituitary controls that. So you're really involved here, and you just got to get those kidneys opened up, or it's just a tough fight. Because you can't pull all this fluid out with black sand, man. You can't do it. You're too involved. And so you really got to get that filtration going, okay? So there you go. I'm telling you, I'm going to pay attention to what this guy says. He makes a lot of sense to me. And the fact that he mentioned those two items just really basically floored me. Um, at this point, I have to agree with him. I've done everything he said. I've done the protein powder. I was doing those drinks three times a day. I'm down to once a day now. Um, I'm probably going to cut that down and concentrate mostly on the fruits and veggies and uh, and minimal protein. What have I got to lose? Anyway, he definitely caught my attention. Thank you, Dr. Morris, for your rapid response and in including my questions in your video. And once again, thank all of you for watching and subscribing and uh, giving me the thumbs up and the comments. I appreciate every bit of it. We'll talk to you soon.